How to delete corrupted files that cannot be deleted. There are several methods, including command prompt and boot mode. Let's try first method command prompt. Open CMD and type DEL space backslash F space backslash Q. Then add inverted commas. Then copy the file path. Then paste it in between the inverted commas. Now type backslash asterisk dot asterisk. And hit enter. Now type Y and hit enter. That's it. Now, let's try the second method. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run window. Then type msconfig and hit enter. In the system configuration window, go to the boot section. Under boot options, enable safe boot, then click apply and OK. Finally, click restart to continue. Once your PC restarts, navigate to the corrupted files folder and try deleting them using Shift plus Delete. These methods work but are slow, and the data can still be recovered with recovery software. To ensure complete and secure data erasure, you can use SysTools data wipe software. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. This is the interface of SysTools Data Wipe software. The first option is Select Folder, which allows you to import one or multiple folders containing corrupted files. The second option is Select File, which lets you import individual files. Here, we'll choose the Select Folder option, but you can pick a different option if needed. Click on it. Now, select the folder that contains corrupted files and click Select Folder. You can now see the folder name and its path. Below, there's a wipe subfolders option, which ensures files in subfolders are also wiped. This option is enabled by default. Finally, click next to proceed. Now there you have to choose the data wipe method according to your need. There are several options, such as 01 pass, random one pass, wipe sample one pass, random and 02 passes, Peter Gutman 35 passes. USDOD 3 passes, British HMGIS 53 passes, Russian Ghost R50739953 passes, and NATO Standard 7 passes. Methods with fewer passes work faster but provide a lower level of security, while those with more passes take longer but offer a more thorough wipe. Here, we'll select the NATO Standard 7 passes as a balanced option, but you can choose based on your requirements. Now, click the wipe button to proceed. A message will pop up saying, once files or folders are deleted, they cannot be recovered. Are you sure you want to proceed? Click yes to continue. Once the wipe process is complete, another message will appear confirming wipe process completed successfully. Clicking OK will open the report file for the data wipe. Let's close it for now. Now, let's review the progress report. The first column displays the file paths of all the corrupted files. The second column shows the file sizes. And the third column indicates the wipe status. Below, the total count shows 8. The success count is also 8, while the failed count is 0, confirming that all files were wiped successfully. The wipe method section displays the method used, which in this case is NATO standard 7 passes. And that's it. That's how you can delete corrupt files that normally fail to delete.